Hey. So this month, my friends Katia and Mattia started the Amazon Shave Club, trying to help the Amazon forest. Um, so yeah, my friends, helping the Amazon forest, I gotta join the cause. So, welcome to Monthly News number 43. So you know, I figured I'll get a cool haircut, something that inspires others to join as well. So I would say uh, mission accomplished, looks pretty pretty good, no? But unfortunately I cannot record the monthly news this month because I need to take some pass photos for my senior citizenship card to get some discounts in the bus and the swimming pool. And I need to take advantage of this, you know? So this month Kat is gonna do the monthly news. Bonjour. Okay, so after the whole Eindhoven cleanup, uh, preparing containers, buying a piece of land and moving our precious plastic workspace, a small remaining team has been setting up our new location in France. And it's the space is a little bit more limited here, so um, it looks quite different. But um, let me just give you a quick impression. We turned this cool building into our new workspace. We transformed Jan's old room into our new office. And we set up our little camp with some tents, vans and a yurt as a shared space or kind of a living room. Yeah, so I also packed my things and um, made my way to reunite with the team in France. And as I was going through the country with um, the second largest number of, of precious plastic workspaces, of course I had to use this opportunity to get to know some of our French plastic recyclers. So I met Fabien from Le Prix mm -hmm. who is about to finalize all of his machine and start his project once the Covid situation allows it again. And then I passed Paris and there's a little bit more going on and there I definitely had to meet one person who some of you might know quite well from our online platforms. Alors, bonjour. Um, we are in Sartreville now, which many of you might have heard from the precious plastic Sartreville, which is run by Nicola. Um, and now we're going to meet him. Hello, I'm Nicolas, uh, and this is Pepe Sartreville, Recyclez Moi. And welcome to my company, Dubois Reception. <laughs> so, here we rent material for events, and uh, we have started a precious plastic workshop here. Uh, almost uh, four years ago um, and the main aim here is to develop uh, some craftsmanship and raise awareness to different types of pl publics. Here is our last machine uh, built by Landry, uh, Le Recycleur Fou, which is a version 4 extrusion machine but we at the moment use it for these three products uh, and uh, big up to Zill and you, who really highly inspired us into uh, trying to mimic his technique, uh, which is quite complicated to be honest. This is the rest of the workshop where we mainly do uh, compression with the one and two ovens and the compression system. This is our modified, oh, modified, this is our shredder but we've made all the framework uh, with wood. Uh, I discovered the Precious Plastic project uh, so yeah, more or less four years ago and uh, it really flashed into my, uh, into my head that we had to do something. Uh, so here in the business we started to... Uh, um, well, we wanted to recycle everything we had. So the pallet wrap is uh, what we call LLDPE, mm -hmm. so linear low density polyethylene. And uh, it has no additives in it. So it is, uh, as you will see right after, super, super to work with. Yeah, so that's the setup. And with that, Nicola and his team have been using their free time to uh, experiment, like, a lot. <laughs> we really started out with uh, simple mold shapes and then we continued making molds a bit more 
let's say complicated uh, molding silicone and uh, you can really take the print of uh, whatever the object you want. We uh, wanted to uh, experiment how we could fuse different plastic products together. It was melted, we just uh, created a little pattern. So it was uh, yogurt, the orange and white, but more as a compression beam. Everything is only fused uh, with a heat gun. Try to not sue. So pretty inspiring all the things they learned just in the free time when they didn't have to work. So you could say that Nicolas kind of became a precious plastic expert. But what makes this even more valuable is that he's all in for sharing everything he learns with the community. Uh, also what's cool is um, I've been able to help a lot of people uh, mm -hmm. to go through the struggles I went through. The whole French community is super active and uh, share information on why that happens, how to go through this problem and so on. So, um, yeah, I'm happy to, uh, to be able to help others not lose so much time and uh, not understand what's going on. Yeah, so this guy has been with us for four years and always kind of been around. Um, so thank you so much for that. It's really valuable to have people like that um, as an extension of our team. And before leaving Paris, there was one other workspace I managed to visit. So um, let's have a quick look. Now we are visiting Atelier Samji, who just started not so long ago. And it's in the middle of Paris, pretty central. Yeah, let's see. Bonjour. So welcome to Atelier Samji. Welcome to our workshop. This is basically the mold we are working with it now. And then you can come to the main part. This is how all of the machines that we have. The shredder, two injection machines, our oven. And then you find our, let's say, our main piece. And it's an extrusion machine based on the V4, which works perfectly and helps us to make a lot of brick. So uh, we were looking for a project that makes sense. And so we discovered Precious Plastic and we didn't think for long. We we say let's go. The exhibition was uh, entitled uh, Introduction to the Brick. We have people that have been really interested by the exhibition. I think we will keep the focus on the brick. As I was saying, we want to improve it and uh, we want to be able to do it better and faster, but also doing some research and development on other projects on the side. Well, uh, first of all, uh, it would be thank you for the community because we wouldn't be here without you so thanks a lot uh, and I'm really happy to see that in France we have like a we have a squad a gang that is forming and with people uh, that know us like uh, Nicolas de Sartrouville uh, like Landry that I was talking before Lola qui est passé aussi nous voir uh, yeah um, there is many many people that I also don't know that they, they are going to reunite for the same fight and yeah to I mean this this is the game we want to play we want to work as a community and let's hope we will find a way to yeah to get a, a big squad ready to fight the plastic yeah nice <laughs> <laughs> yeah nice so it's always fun to see how different workspaces evolve and how they look like and what they do um, and quite powerful to meet them in person as i think it creates a much stronger network within the community so i can highly recommend that way of traveling using the map uh, to find the people and connect to each other exchange share and learn from each other um, in real life and as you might have noticed, the French community is quite a strong and active one already. And many of them are now gathering to strengthen their connections and, um, and build up something very strong as a community. So Precious Plastic Touraine Val de Loire organized a weekend where many of the French Precious Plastic workspaces met and worked out a plan to work together. They had a full schedule with different sessions to figure out and decide on values, directions and a mission for the community organization to push so local solutions for the plastic problem. There was a lot of talking, brainstorming and discussing around different questions to work out and build the foundations for a strong and fruitful network while also just getting to know each other 
have delicious food, <laughs> and a taste of our famous music talents, connecting just as um, yeah, human beings. I think this is something very interesting and exciting to see how this evolves and what we can learn um, as a global community from that as um, projects like Precious Plastic really also depend on the surrounding, on your local community. Let's see how that goes and what we can learn from it. Okay, enough for now about France. Um, this month we also reached a total of 100,000 euros on our Patreon account. And we've been there for three and a half years, but it is um, quite a milestone. And it's cool to think about how all these little um, two euros a month donations do add up to such a big support. So thank you very much for sticking with us and being part of this huge contribution. And we are also putting more effort now into involving our patrons, like showing more what's going on behind the scenes and involving you in discussions and uh, decisions. Like at the moment, we are running a series of uh, One Army articles, sharing design explorations and asking for feedback to shape this platform together to empower sustainable open source projects. So yeah, if you want to see more what's going on behind the scenes and are interested in getting involved in those kind of conversations, um, you know where to find us and we are always happy to see our army uh, growing. I guess that's it for this month. Take care of yourselves and of others and of everything. Um, yeah, see you next month. Yeah, come in the monthly news. Bye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> see you next month. <laughs> <laughs>